Several members of our BSO Cooper City District team moonlighted as servers at the Blue Moon Diner during the latest tip a cop all in the effort to raise money for Special Olympics. So typically how this works is the Blue Moon Diner in this case is agreed to kindly donate a portion of the proceeds from today's sale to the Special Olympics. And then also all of those who are attending, those who are um, the patrons, they're able to also donate towards Tipicop, which will all go to benefit the Special Olympics and all of those who participate in Special Olympics. Residents, visitors, members of the Cooper City Commission and staff all showing support as law enforcement and our citizen emergency response team showcase some skills when it comes to hospitality while also thanking the Blue Moon Diner for hosting this great event. That came in and asked if we wanted to do it and we've always wanted to get involved with the community and so it seemed like a perfect idea. Well that, that's a part of our core values actually. It's uh, written in our mission statement to be a part of the community and this is really the first opportunity we've had to kind of delve deep into that. The Blue Moon Diner staff also getting some assistance from a Special Olympics athlete himself. Fernando Nunez, who volunteers extensively with the city of Cooper City and who was the Grand Marshal of this year's Founders Day Parade, was on hand to help as he prepares to compete during the Special Olympics USA Games in Orlando, which are coming up in June. I go go compete uh, for swimming. Swimming in what, uh, what, stroke, what, what, in what competitions are you going to be in? Uh, for butterfly and freestyle. Through the combined efforts of volunteers and our community, nearly $3,000 was raised over the course of just three hours. It's just another reason why community involvement is a major priority for our BSO Cooper City team. We think of law enforcement typically and, you know, catch the robber, catch the bad guy, but one of the most important integral parts of law enforcement is community partnerships, creating relationships, communicating. That's with the local residents, the community stakeholders, and the business community. So in this particular case, it's important for us to have and maintain good relationships with our local businesses, and we see that in the partnership that we have here today at Tipicop.